Affordable Care Act um, redefined what small group insurance means with regard to employer employers and how many employees they have. Small group insurance used to be um, applied to companies that had between one and 50 employees. But under the ACA, beginning on January 1st, that goes from one to 100. And this puts these folks who had between 50 and 100 employees into a new category of insurance, which it will vary around the country, but some people will see premium spikes and it will be new kinds of regulation. And frankly, Commissioner Lundin just doesn't think that this regulation is necessary. All right. And what does she propose should be done about it? She thinks that states should have should, should have the flexibility to define what a small group insurance plan is and how many employees uh, uh, that would apply to. That's how it's been. Insurance is regulated at the state level in the United States. Mm-hmm. Insurance commissioners like Monica are directly elected by the people and understand the market better than um, better than folks in D.C. know the Montana market. And um, she believes that states know best and that in this case, a one-size-fits-all solution is not going to work for Montana. All right. And how, how does she think that would be best implemented? Well, there's a bill pending um, before Congress now called the PACE Act, the Protecting Affordable Coverage for Employees Act, and she is urging them to pass it and pass it quickly because now is the time when um, employers and individuals are starting to think about their insurance for the coming year, and employers need some time to plan. They need to know what's what's going to be in the market next year, and she's urging them to, to pass that law quickly. Now, what could be the possible fallout if, some, if nothing is done? Could there be uh, job losses? or uh, Because uncertainty is the worst thing that can happen to a business. Well, I'm not sure... Um, you know, when she spoke to Congress, she didn't necessarily enumerate, you know, what the possible repercussions could be, except to say that there could be market disruptions in the insurance market or just, you know, in the insurance market, like any market, runs best when it runs smoothly and it knows what the expectations are. And um, there is a sort of like a temporary stopgap measure built into the ACA that is allowing businesses to um, continue on as they have been, but it's not permanent. And, and the PACE Act would make... Um, would make the regulation currently in effect, and that which has long been in effect, permanent.